All right, so I just took a shower real quick to start the trip and I'm ready to hit the road. On the way here, I was feeling like super sad and I realized like every time I get back on the road, I'm just so anxious and sad about leaving my mom and my dog and I just get comfortable at home. But then I realized like I get sad when I get back home too. So like any change that I make, it's just uh, gives me a little bit anxiety. So <sighs> just feeling a little bit sad right now, but I know that I'll get over it and I'm super excited for Mushroom Adventure. So once I get going, I'll forget about the anxiety and things will get better, but that's how I feel right now. So I'm ready to hit the road though. pretty well last night it was loud as shit here you can probably hear it but I was freaking out last night because my back was hurting so bad but these levelers really helped out I put the levelers up and my back stopped hurting so I slept pretty good last night but I really don't want to sleep at freaking Cracker Barrel again so I got a campsite for tonight I'm gonna go biking today I'm gonna go to the gym I'm gonna go run some errands and I'm excited to not be a Cracker Barrel, that's for sure. Good morning folks I just woke up and whew, let me tell you this is way better than freaking Cracker Barrel I'll tell you that much the other night at Cracker Barrel was so loud the traffic's right there like there's crackheads everywhere but this this is fucking awesome so today's agenda I'm gonna make some coffee I'm gonna make some foods and then we're gonna go on a mushroom hike and find all the mushrooms found some smooth sh chanterelles yesterday so that gives me hope that we'll find some cool shit today so and then i'll probably go for a bike ride do some yoga hell yeah it's gonna be an awesome freaking day as you can see it gets freaking messy in here really fast so i'm gonna have to clean up today too but that's all right it's a beautiful day and it's gonna be a good ass day. Decaf, cause I be getting cracked out. I need to chill out on the coffee. Van life is so much better when it's not 95 freaking degrees. This is great. It's like 70 and my jacket on. Love it. Oh hell yeah. Coffee tastes so much better from a mushroom cup. Check it out. This is the smooth chanterelle that I found last night. So the I found a couple of others that are kind of buggy and gross, but unfortunately, well, these are edible, but unfortunately I am allergic to them. Everyone else ate them and they were fine, and but I got super sick from them, so I'm kind of scared to try them again, but usually they're edible. But anytime you're trying a new mushroom, you should really eat the smallest amount just to get a taste for it, see if your body is okay with it, because everybody is different and everybody will react differently. 
but these are really beautiful mushrooms. So we're going on a little adventure now. I am hoping to find some something purple or blue, like Cordinarius or some kind of Entolomas, Chlorosaboria. Um, so yeah, hopefully we find something cool. I wanted to bring my camera gear, but it's kind of like super heavy. My back's already been hurting, so I'm just gonna go out this trip with just my phone camera. And if I find something cool, I'll bring it back, but yeah, I just didn't want to drag that shit all the way out here. It's kind of annoying to how heavy it is and whatnot. But yeah, hopefully we'll find something cool and I can bring it back. Take some cool macro photos. Look how beautiful this place is. Fit check. I got my stinkhorn shirt on. So this is a mushroom, very phallic looking mushroom called stinkhorn, phallus impudicus, which means it translates to the shameless penis. So as you can see, it kind of makes sense, eh? Stinkhorns. This is the stinkhorn egg. This is how it starts. And then it grows up from that egg. It's pretty cool. It's got the yin and the yang. One looks feminine, one looks masculine. And then I got my mushroom necklace on. This is actually a real mushroom that's dried out and cast in bronze. I got it from this guy on Instagram. Uh, yeah, I love this thing. I wear it every day. Check it out. I found some sterium. So this is the false turkey tail. A lot of people think it looks like turkey tail, but it's a little bit different. Um, it grows off dead wood. And it's not as medicinal as turkey tail, but it's still really pretty. It's got these little rings, concentric rings around it. Sometimes you'll find jelly fungi growing on the same uh, log. And the jelly fungi actually is like par parasitizing the false turkey tail it's kind of cool look what i found so this is chlora saboria, saboria mycelium so this is a fungi blue fungi that stains wood blue and i first saw this it caught my eye really well and then i look over boom we got the fruiting bodies and they're so cute i was hoping to find this one even though it's pretty dry, you can see them kind of shriveled up a little bit, but they're still popping off. I might take this one home and take some pictures of it, or home, I mean, the van. Ooh, look what I found. So, let's check out what this guy is. We're gonna dig this up a little bit. Go down all the way to the base, because sometimes you have to dig down a little bit to see the whole mushroom to identify it so you can kind of see that there's this like little bulbous kind of base at the bottom of it and this was the egg that it was started in this is an amanita mushroom and that's how one of the characteristics it has this bulbous base and this one, I'm not sure the species on this one. So many different species, but sometimes they'll have little warts from where the universal veil broke off. So let's look at, oops, it's all right. If you look closely, you can see that the gills are free. So they're not directly attached to the stem. Shit, I broke it. So that's another way you can tell too. Cool, that gives me hope that there's stuff out here. I'm excited. Okay, check it out. So this is another one that we might need to dig it up a little bit to see the base to identify it. Oh, it takes forever to dig these up. 
feel ridiculous like being on the trail like digging in the woods. <laughs> I didn't get all of it, but check this out. So this is called a radiating stem. So that's how I know that this one is weed manzilia. So I could also tell by the top of the cap and by the gills too. You got these like bright white, really pretty gills actually. So that's weed manzilia. You gotta dig it up to see the whole thing. Oh my god, check these out! These are, I think these are foliota, but like really baby small ones. A little bit over here. These are gonna look really cool when they get bigger. I'm gonna come back here in a couple days. And hopefully, they'll be grown up a little bit. This is a really cool species. It's got these little scably things. Ah, oh, they're kind of dry. What if I come back here and like water them or something? That's kind of what I want to do. But those are cool. Check this one out. This is some kind of polypore. I'm assuming it's Scanoderma, but I really don't know my polypores too much. But check out how cool that liquid is. It's actually called gatation, and I think what it is just like the mushroom sweating out extra moisture. It's pretty trippy looking though. Look what we got here, a russula. So this is a red russula. And these are really cool because they um, break up really easily. They have cells in them called spherocytes. And the spherocytes are like bigger, which makes it like crumble. Like that's one of the ways you can identify it. it like kind of crumbles, you can throw it at a tree and it'll explode kind of. Sometimes they'll kind of look like amanitas because they got little spots on them but that's just like from bugs eating them yeah these are really cool they're mycorrhizal so they'll grow in symbiotic relationships with trees these are pretty common we'll see them a lot today probably oh look at this one i think it's a stocked puffball it's a little guy right now but he'll probably get bigger he's cute Look what I just found. Hell yeah. That is a beautiful ratio right there. Oh man. It was really dry, but man. This place is freaking awesome. There's actually a lot of stuff here. I feel like I should come back here with my camera for sure. There's like no one out here. It's beautiful. It's right next to a rose, so it's kind of loud, but man, this is freaking awesome. We got some more Cora Saboria wood here. I don't see any fruiting bodies, but. I just love the way the wood looks next to the green. Some little slime molds in there too, but you can barely see them. I wish I knew my plant spider because this is just adorable. It's everywhere. Is it part of the moss? Oh yeah, look. It must be part of the moss. That's freaking cool. Ah, I want to learn more about moss. Okay, so now here we have some turkey tail. You can tell the color is way different than that sterium I showed you before. This is more like a bluish kind of color. Um, there's a little bit of green you can see on some of these. That's like algae growing on it. But yeah, these are really medicinal. People use them in teas and tinctures. They're really pretty. Whole log filled with them. Ooh, this one's even better. 
Wow, these are gorgeous. So this one's turkey tail. And look over here, you'll see the stereo. You can see how different they are, right? Let's put them next to each other. See? Sterium, false turkey tail, turkey tail. Ooh, we got a puff ball. Check it out. <gasps> See that? That's the spores coming out. This looks so much fun. This is how they release their spores. They're hoping some weird humans will come by and mess with them. <laughs> puff balls. So we got a bunch of stuff over here. You guys know what this one is? We Manzilia. You can tell by those super bright gills, super long stem. I'm not gonna dig it up this time, but you get the picture. We got another scleroderma here. You can see this one, something was eating it. So you can see the inside. Check this out. Oh yeah, it's like purple inside. These are really cool. Check out this one. I think that's a weed man, weed manzilia too. It's like velvety almost. Beep beep beep. It's a little umbo. The little top part of the mushroom. It's called an umbo. A little nipply part. Check it out. Whoa, yeah, buddy, that's fucking cool as shit. I think that's the same one we saw earlier, but way more juicy. Wow, I've never seen one so juicy before. Wow, of course, the board is really everywhere. That's a good one. Wow, this trail is so cool. I can't imagine coming back here when it actually gets some good rain. Even though it's dry, I'm still finding so much cool shit. I love this place. Check it out, we got another rustler here. Dig her up. Yeah. Let's see. See? You know what I mean? It just like explodes into little pieces. You can't do that with all mushrooms. A lot of mushrooms are like too fibrous to do that. But yeah, check out how easily it breaks up. So a lot of people get mad at me on the internet for picking mushrooms. But actually, the mushroom is just the fruiting body. So the mycelium is still underground, still doing its thing it'll still fruit in other areas and that mushroom was kind of old so it probably released a lot of its spores already so I don't think it's a big deal to pick mushrooms especially because you have to pick them some of them to identify them so you're not killing the mushrooms when you're picking them they're not gonna go extinct because you pick them so calm down folks oh check this out Ooh, our first entomopathic fungi. I don't even know if you can see that. You can see it a little bit. So this one is probably Isaria. Or no, it was Isaria, but they changed it to Cordyceps. So this one's Cordyceps tunipsis. So we're just going to dig it up here. Hopefully I got the hosts in there too. We're going to dig it up. Let's see. What we got here? Did I get the hose? Maybe. Oops. I think I got the host. I gotta be really delicate when you're taking off the dirt to find the bug that's growing on. So yeah, these are uh, fungi that grow on bugs. Oh, yeah, I think the host is here. Host is some kind of pupae, I assume. Oh yeah, 
cool, I did get it. Yeah. But it's like really far gone, so you can't really tell what the host is. I'm not really good with bugs anyway, so. But this is really cool. Neat. Our first fungi that grows on bugs. Awesome. Check out this wrestler. I've never seen one with such a red stipe. Wow. That's actually kind of cool. Man, I really wish I brought some lunch with me. I'm getting really hungry, but I don't want to leave because there's too many cool things. But I think I might head back soon and probably grab my macro, my photography stuff because it definitely seems like it would be worth it. Lots of cute shit out here. So yeah, might head out soon. Wow, this one's pretty cool. It's like velvety tail. I'm not familiar with this one. There's a lot of mushrooms I don't know. There's a lot of mushrooms out there. I kind of want to know. I was going to say Entoloma, but... I don't know. I'll have to look that up. I'm still kind of new to mushroom identification. There's just so many things to know. and like Every time I think I know something, like sometimes it's wrong. Like you'll be close. There's a lot of mushrooms that look like other mushrooms. and Just a lot. But I'm trying to learn something new every day. See, this is the kind of log cabin that I want. Isn't this cute? Put a little sugar pole in there. That'd be sweet. Oh, the nut hole, eh? I don't know about that, buddy. Sounds weird. Yeah, that's super cute. I can make a little mushroom farm in there, huh? I love being at campgrounds where you can just walk to the hiking trails. It's really the best when I can just like leave my car there and not have to move for a couple days. It's fucking awesome. Love this place. Okay, I'm freaking starving, so I'm gonna make a sandwich real, real quick. I saw someone on Instagram post that they use a lint roller to check for ticks. So that's what I'm gonna start doing from now on. I think it's a good idea. This area is really known for ticks that have Lyme disease. And I have a couple of friends who have Lyme disease and it sounds fucking awful. So I'm gonna check myself often and hopefully these little fuckers won't get me. Ooh, that came out pretty cool actually. I just put together this little bunch. I'm using an Olympus OME1 Mark II, I think it is. This is like a magnifying kind of glass. I can put it on here and it gets in there way deeper. So it'll probably zoom in a lot more now. Probably stay closer. Oh yeah, see. And then I also have extension tubes, which I'll put on eventually to get the really small stuff. Hey guys, so I'm on a new trail this time and check out what I just found. I'm pretty sure these are hedgehog mushrooms. So, for some reason I thought these were like carriers at first, they kind of look like it from the top, but if you look under, you can see that it's like toothed. So it has like teeth instead of gills, and apparently these are a choice edible. There's actually a bunch of them. Oh yeah, they're everywhere. Man, I wish I wasn't scared to try any mushrooms. I got sick last time, so... I'm just afraid to try anything new now. But these are so cool. 
Okay, you guys gotta see this. Look at these. They're called uh, woolly aphids, I think. There's a shitload of them. Ew, they're kind of weird. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Look at that move. It's getting dark already. I'm gonna head back home. Take a shower, do some stretching. The bathroom is kind of scary. Yikes. the best shower I've ever had. So now I'm going to end the night by just editing some photos. Look how great these came out. Here's the before. Oh yeah. He's so cute. I'll edit some photos and start on some YouTube videos and just chill and yeah. It's pretty much the end of my night. Love you. Bye.